the wing line. Yeah. So this is the the time the wing line. Yeah. Yeah. The results is about to happen uh, in a couple of months. We, uh, we expect a uh, set chair to walk in when the team heads begin to announce uh, the results of the elections which happened yesterday. And just now we are fortunate enough to be joined by the uh, Justice, uh, Justice Goods. I want to put in that way. We have got the uh, uh, Allied Sector General, uh, Mr. Douglas Monzoa. Uh, from Zambia as well, we have got a uh, uh, justice official, Mr. Paul Mangwana, together with uh, uh, Mr. Nick Mangwana, they are here in the room. Of course, no one else wants to be left out from the announcement of this result, because they are in the room. So, it's just in a in 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 in, in that moment where everyone is late and wants to hear how it played out. How are you going to make it? Okay. Well then, thanks very much indeed uh, for crossing to us. Yes, we're at the results centre and uh, this is where we're going to get the first indication of uh, just what the will of the people is. So, in a few minutes' time, we're just waiting for the officials now to come through. They're going to start telling us what those results are and uh, which way, which party has been going to get the two front runners that we have to answer your question, it's a thought of two words. It also has been a hope for whatever word you want to use, whatever you want to say, or make some of the change, something together. There's some messages that they do not want to say. Thank you. That was uh, uh, Secretary General Mr. Douglas Young, who was speaking to us on what he is going to make of the result. Of course, he is saying mostly the results are not going to be positive. So, such thing, then probably there's been something which is going to come out. Mr. Paul Mangwana, a good uh, interruption. Uh, how do you make of this a moment, the election result announcement? But I think another one is among other issues, you know, the impartiality of the media coverage. They are so this is uh, Mr. Paul Mawad who is speaking to us uh, as we are waiting for Justice Chikumba to walk in and uh, deliver the election uh, results. Uh, of course, but we went to the polls yesterday and for the first time, uh, to our observation, the process seemed to be uh, peaceful and up, even up to now, and the encouragement which is being given to the electorate even today is that they should remain calm and observe a peace up until um, a post-election actually, and of course the consensus and the national uh, uh, building in terms of understanding each other, encouraging people to, uh, to accept uh, the outcome.
of this election. So please just keep on watching. In a few moments, in a few couple of, uh, of, of minutes, uh, Justice Chikumba will hop in, accompanied by the team, and deliver to us uh, the election uh, results. Are you recording? Yes. Okay. All right, let's get uh, the sentiments and uh, thoughts uh, from representatives of uh, the two major parties, the FDC Alliance and uh, Zambia, who are joining us now, uh, literally just minutes before the first set of results are coming through. Jason, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, your thoughts on the election process, as well as the we do not have uh, many major complaints about the process. We are happy. Uh, we will accept the result which comes out. It is the verdict of the chief. We ended up into this election with six outstanding issues. The lines with them are the reading of the voters for the exact voters for that was removed from the voting agency. It is different from the voters for that was given uh, to the candidates. So we do have issues with that. We also have issues with politicization of food aid during the polling um, uh, and in the proximity of our. Uh, so, yes, we do have issues, but to what extent those issues have affected our uh, result, we are yet, yet to move, uh, but we are waiting for the results as well, but the outstanding issues do remain outstanding. Right. One concern that's been raised is that we are posting results on social media and the electoral commission is going to do that. Why are we doing that? Well, I, I'm, I'm not aware of anybody who has posted the results on social media. Your president has. Um, if, if he has done that, uh, I, I can't comment on that because I have not seen it. Uh, but um, what I can say is that uh, the results, once they are published outside the polling station, become public. Um, it is the first announcement that is not allowed by law. But once they have been posted, uh, posted uh, on the, on the outer, outer door of the polling station, they become uh, uh, public. So anybody can broadcast them. Uh, you don't win an election on polling day. You win in the four years, five years before the election. Your deeds determine how people are going to respond in terms of what we are confident that uh, our policies resonate with the wishes of people of Zimbabwe and our president is very popular. So, yes, we are comfortable. We are expecting to win resounding. The question for both of you why is it you have so few women representatives on your team? It's a challenge uh, we had. Um, uh, we, I would say failing, not a terrible No, it's, it's, well, the failure is a challenge. We need to address it. Um, we, we accept that uh, uh, we didn't do well on the gender representation. Um, and what happened again is that uh, uh, where, we, where we thought we had put in a, a, a female candidate, uh, our colleagues in the opposition would then put a man, and vice versa. So really, I don't, we, we need a better strategy for how we can achieve more women representation in our positions of power. And why did the MDC Alliance fail to fill more female candidates? I, I think it has it to do with the uh, environment. Um, the elections in Zimbabwe have been characterized historically by violence, and uh, the women, female, female candidates were, were averse to that. But um, we need to have a strategy to involve more women uh, in the decision making. Uh, we are able to say that in the, in the decision making boards of the MDC, there is a good representation of women. But uh, uh, in this, we, 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 we acknowledge that we have very few women and want to encourage as many women as possible. So, the Zessin said that uh, you, Zambia, uh, use state resources, part of it, uh, food, farmers' lament, uh, government officials speaking, uh, rallies. Uh, why did the party do that? That is not correct. The government does not stop functioning because there is an election. The government does not stop saving its people because there is an election. But we, as a party, we did not mix government business with our party business. We campaign. That is not correct. If a member of parliament has a, a, a vehicle, a minister has a vehicle, he does not go on foot leaving that vehicle because there is an election. That happens all over the world. There is always what they call the advantage of a it is there politically accepted all over the world. Right. So he's saying it didn't happen. You started by saying that. <laughs> yes, in fact, there are a few centers where uh, food aid was given uh, as a political weapon, as a condition uh, uh, to, to get the vote of the people. That's, that's basically the definition of bribery. Right and that is not just. It is also not allowed to use state resources 
for for campaigning uh, in a party manner. These vehicles are given to ministers as they are the duty vehicles. But they are not doing state duty, they are doing personal duty when they come in. So it is it is not allowed. It is abuse of state duty. So my brother is uh, asking that if I'm a minister and I have access to the government off-road motor vehicle, I must pack it if, if I'm going for an election. That is asking for utopia. It does not happen. There is always the advantage of incumbents. Let him come into power and then you realize that uh, he's asking for the process. Let's talk about the advantages of democracy. One area that was also attacked was state media was fairly balanced and biased towards the party. I do not think uh, we, we asked them if ever they did introduce it. Um, we, I can be news because I'm here as a woman. I can be news because I'm a senior leader of Zanzibar. So if the state media saw officials in Zanzibar being news where they covered it, I, I, I don't think what is important is whether or not each political party got advertising time on the official uh, state media. And I think that was available to all the parties. But I, being Nyanas what I come here to, to listen to the, to the announcement of the results. You are interviewing me because I'm news. That does not give me an advantage in an election. But I'm news. Secondly, certainly, no, certainly we may have been at some point. Uh, the state media in particular uh, have had very good influence on our activities. Um, and whatever covered here was, it was all the negative news uh, about our our activities and countries, our security of countries, and a lot of glorifying of uh, the, the, the current president. So it was unfair, it was unfair coverage, um, it was an equal access to the media in terms of the constitution of the government. People must have equal access to the media when it comes to campaigns. We can say they are used well, and this is used well as well. It is the main, it is the main challenge, it is the main content of power. His, his presidential candidate is 40 years, that's news weather. And uh, a lot of things. Of course, we run out of time, we're going to have to leave it there, but uh, hopefully we'll have a chat again <laughs> very soon. That's where we're going to come back to you in Johannesburg. We'll come back to you a little bit I later wish on. We after the initial <laughs> results are being given. Back to you, Colin. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I understand. I Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The media is still waiting for the for the chairperson of Zek to come and announce.
many people saying that the MDC went around as well to ask for 